one of the important findings we find is that there is a real innovation divide in society today across the world. There are some countries that have performed their innovation historically and that keep remaining at the top of the innovation ladder over time. Among the rich countries, what we find is that education becomes a key factor driving the quality of innovation in those economies. So countries like the US and the UK that have real strengths in the university education system stand out with respect to the quality of innovation in these economies. Now, what is interesting is you look at the group of middle-income economies and you look at them and ask the question, why are some economies making more rapid progress than others? Usually, the answer comes around to the key differentiators being around institutional support for innovation in those economies. So for example, the stability of the political environment, the rule of law in the country, the investment in various institutional frameworks all become very critical differentiators. So one of the positive trends we're noticing in the GII, the Global Innovation Index results, is that Africa is starting to move up. And some African countries are showing increased performance on the innovation scale. So countries like Burkina Faso, Mali, Senegal, and others are actually showing that it is possible to make progress and become more innovative and more competitive as economies. There is something right happening in the BRIC countries. Because if you focus on the quality of innovation, all the BRIC countries are at the top amongst the middle-income economies. Now, at the same time, what you observe is China has been making tremendous progress. Over the last few years, it has been increasing its overall rank. And today, it's ranked number 29 in the top 30 worldwide. So what we've done this year is try to ask the question, which countries have consistently outperformed their peers on the innovation ranking? So if you compare yourself to other countries that have the same GDP per capita levels, same essential wealth levels, are you doing better than your peers? we can actually go down and ask the question, what is the performance of different countries on these different pillars? Are there some countries that consistently outperform their peers on the various individual pillars? So based on the analysis of this comparison, we have been able to identify some economies that outperform their peers. And of course, this list includes a obvious example like, let's say, China but it also includes other economies which perhaps might be less obvious. For example, it includes economies like Jordan, like Kenya, like Vietnam, Malaysia, India, and others. And essentially what it allows us to do is allows us to look at these innovation outperformers performers and ask the question, what can we learn from them? 